Cool. Uh, apparently not. Um, so I'm gonna be working on this blanket again today, which means I need to locate my phone because I'll still have to use the pattern on my computer, which means yeah, we'll need to use my phone for chat. Oh, no. Yep. All right, that was a nice break from Lost Sectors. Now they start doing Lost Sectors. Okay. Heads up, love. I'm live. I said heads up, I'm live. I'm live. Okay. okay. It's just making sure. I recently cut my bangs and I'm happy with how they turned out. They're actually like straight across bangs. But it was a long day at work so they got pushed to the side and I didn't feel like restyling them this late. So. Oh, yeah. Okay. So run back down. So with my long day of work, I went to town biting my nails. So that's fun. I need to quit again. Because it hurts. a couple days. Was not feeling very good. I almost didn't stream tonight because I just really didn't have the energy. But I kind of missed it. want to get some more progress done and hang out.
I feel like I say it every stream, but I really probably should be wearing my glasses. <laughs> pattern full screen. I can't see my alerts. I want to get a second monitor at some point. off of gold. I guess I didn't do it last stream.
What's the point of doing lawsuits? Literally can't get to the things that are supposed to be dropping from them. I see. Sorry. <laughs> I'm working on the corner to corner blanket again. Sorry, I was trying to figure out if I could. How are you doing tonight? Let's see if this will work. No, I was trying to make it so there was like a photo on the screen of what I'm working on. Or like the graph, basically. Ah, we're back to go. Like that. <laughs> I oh, that'll cover the chat. I think it's fine right there for now. Uh, uh oh, where'd it go? Okay. Okay. So now I can pop it up to show the graph instead of like awkwardly showing the piece of paper that I had with the graph on it. Anyways. figured it out. Anyways, <laughs> um, so that's what I'm working on. The Monster Hunter Zenogar corner to corner blanket for my friend. Oh gosh. Oh, I didn't cut this one out either. Oh no, because I wanted to. Yeah, okay. That was my husband. I don't know if you heard him. <laughs> I 
Oh no! I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, that was my husband. Quoting something, I'm not really sure what, but... Something Pokemon related, because he said Butterfree. What series were you watching? I'm Sweetie, and this is my McDonald's. Oh no. Order. Surprise ad. <laughs> What's the hand I need to get ad free YouTube. I think. Because these surprise ads really get you. How did your reading go the other night? I say right before it gets to me. Okay. It rolled stasis and it rolled a 67. interesting it's it sounds familiar but I've definitely never seen it but it sounds very interesting Some progress is better than no progress. That's what I keep telling myself with this blanket. <laughs> fun trying to figure out which piece I cut off in the mounds of 
<laughs> in the tangle of yarn. Ooh, unexpected twists can be fun. They can be. from the middles anymore. Sh shove that in there. Oh no! <laughs> well, I'm sorry. You got stuck at a cliffhanger. It's never a fun time. that in together. I don't think I've ever heard of Line of Duty. Hey! At least it's not like you're stuck forever on that cliffhanger. Uh, it's doing better. I had a pretty rough day at work, but I'm crocheting and I'm chilling. And uh, making the best of it. have to check it out. I have such a bad habit 
of just like replaying the same shows over and over again because I can just use them as background noise and I don't have to pay attention to them. Thanks, me too. while my like go-to background noise was criminal minds <laughs> but um now that i have a baby not really the best show to use as background noise so now it's uh, bob's burgers most of the time every once in a while we'll like switch it up with some cartoon not baby shows. We're not there yet, thankfully. <laughs> uh, it was just like a lot today. It was very busy and with my job, so I previously worked in a hotel, so I kind of got used to people just like randomly yelling at me. Um, <laughs> cause that's uh, what's involved in that job basically. Uh, but it's been a minute cause my job now, I don't really experience that as much. I had somebody uh, yell at me today and I don't do well under the best circu circumstances when people yell at me. So it was fun. I had a cry, but it's fine. Not in front of the person that was yelling at me though. So counting that as a win. <laughs> also very true. Baby does be cool. Background noise. Yeah, thank you. It was not a fun time, but on the brighter side, my ba my boss has my back and handled it for me, and I got to come home to my daughter, who was very happy to see me, and I got some cuddles and hugs from her. She's only almost 10 months old so she's not very verbal but she's very expressive when she's happy to see you and it made me feel good and she didn't fight me going to bed which was also very nice and now I'm here chilling decompressing and my husband bought me a ton of Panda Express which really helped uh, my mood. Food makes me very happy. <laughs> yeah, it was really... It was something that was not really my fault. And she, I think she was just going through something and took it out on me. Oh, it's so good. Love me some Panda Express. But yeah, I think she was just going through something. And I was 
available <laughs> to take it out on, I guess. What was a little excessive was that she, she yelled at me over the phone. And after we hung up, she proceeded to call me 12 times in which I was instructed not to answer the phone by my boss. So. <laughs> yeah. It's really not fun. Yeah, like, I don't know. She called me 12 times. And he told me not to answer, because we both knew that she was just calling to yell at me more about the same things that she already said. Because with the first call, she left a message doing exactly that, just yelling more about the same things that she already said to me. Um, and it was literally one of those, like, the phone would ring, 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 and then it would stop, and then immediately would start ringing again. And she did that for a while, and then she would like wait five minutes, and then she'd started it again. I was like, lady, lady, I understand that you're upset, but chill. <laughs> Part of me wanted to answer the phone and be like, what, would you like to hear me cry? Is that what you want? Probably. <laughs> Some people, man. I don't handle conflict well. <laughs> I am not a confrontational person. Yeah, right? She was determined to yell at me. <laughs> it is what it is. At least it was a phone and I could just ignore it and not answer it. Whereas in person, you can only really do so much to ignore them. It's also helpful that he's my brother-in-law, <laughs> but in general he's the kind of guy that he's got your back on those kind of things, because he knows. He's, he deals with it all the time as well. Yeah, it definitely does help. So I gotta say, sometimes venting feels good. Just like, find a non-toxic way to vent. That's all I gotta say. <laughs>
true. That is very, very true. Ah, oh, I said she. Um, I got orange chicken and white steamed rice and some cream cheese rangoons and a fortune cookie that didn't have a fortune in it. <laughs> I'm a, I'm pretty bland. I, I uh, have a habit of being a picky eater. Also, uh, my taste buds are about as pale as my skin. Um, and the orange chicken at Panda Express is kind of spicy to me sometimes. And tonight was one of those nights, but it was still good. I don't handle spice very well at all. <laughs> yeah. It's rough. <laughs> For a while, I was like trying to train myself to eat spicy food by eating hot Cheetos. I mean, it kind of worked for a little bit, and then I stopped. Um, yeah, I mean, they we ordered so much food that they gave us four fortune cookies. Hello, how you doing tonight? Um, they gave us four fortune cookies. So my second fortune cookie actually um, had a fortune in it, and it said that I was going to be traveling internationally. Uh, but with the state of the world at the moment, I don't think that will be happening anytime soon. <laughs> How you doing tonight, Knitter Girl? Oh, sorry. The chat didn't load for some reason. I'm good. Doing better. Just relaxing and chatting. I need four blues. One, two, three, four. Yes. Oh, goodness. Maybe. I'm trying to think of what video game I would travel in now. I've been getting really back into playing Stardew Valley <laughs> lately on my Switch. I also got it on my computer and I want to, maybe on Saturday night, I'll try and stream it. Change things up a little bit. I've never played it on the computer before, though. play a lot of video games. I used to play The Sims a lot, but then when I updated my computer to Windows 10, for some reason it's not working anymore, so I have to figure out how to fix it. Because I miss my Sims.
Almost. I have to sew them together. Um, I ran them through the wash and the dryer. Um, and they're too big for my daughter. But I have to sew the pieces together still. Which won't take very long. Um... I just actually haven't had the motivation to finish them <laughs> since they're too big on her. But they'll fit her soon. She's uh, she's growing fast. I also had questions about the freight train videos. It sounds interesting, potentially. Freight trains are pretty neat. I like them unless I am driving and I have to get stuck waiting for one to pass. <laughs> unless I have a crochet project with me and then I don't mind it as much because I can just get some stitches in while I wait.
You know, I've never thought about the fact. I guess they're like, yeah. It makes sense that there would be. I just never have thought about it before. It's not something I've ever looked up before. But that sounds neat. Those are nice. Uh, recently I've been using a lot of rain sound videos for my daughter. <laughs> Cause that's what she likes to sleep to. For white noise. And I found one that's like three hours long and doesn't have ads on it. chat said bless you. Thank you he said thank you that would be my husband <laughs> I always forget how close my headphone is sorry about that or not yeah my headphones to me mic This is a corner to corner blanket that I am making for one of my best friends that I started like a year and a half ago. <laughs> and then I didn't touch it for like a year until like a week or so ago. I think Sunday night I started it again. Um, and it's... Uh, this is the the graph that I'm using. It's from Monster Hunter. Uh, her favorite monster from it is the Zenogre. So, I'm making her a Zenogre blanket. Um, and I have some time to finish it. She's in the Navy in Japan at the moment. And she'll be back in a little less than a year. So I have plenty of time to finish it. But I kind of just like want to... I'm excited to finish it, but also... I kind of want it off of my uh, works in progress pile. Because <laughs> it's just been like hanging over my shoulder for a while now like you still need to finish this all right I don't know I don't think I've I don't know what that is off the top of my head I'm sure I've seen it um, but yeah Monster Hunter is a very fun game my favorite monster is the Goromagala Personally, I do like the Zenogre though. It's fun to fight.
Oh, nice. I didn't realize there were so many different ones. Yeah. It is hard to get to that living in the moment. Uh, feeling. I also live near trains. I live next to a train station. So not freight trains, but I actually have always lived nearby trains, so like the train horns don't bother me <laughs> anymore. Just like grown used to them. I feel like if I ever move somewhere that's not right next to train tracks or a train station, it'll be weird. Yeah, growing up I lived close to uh, freight train tracks, and now I live next to like passenger train station, if that makes sense. Yeah, right? I feel like it would be too quiet. Like, at the same time, though, I don't even really notice it anymore. <laughs> it doesn't even say precision. It says each hit. It doesn't even have to be precision. But since we're all running around with mouthpieces, and clearing out ads with just primary ammo is going to be easy. I'll probably be going between, like, alternating every once in a while between this project and making myself a cardigan, just so I don't get bored of one or the other. Um, so what I'm doing right now, it's not necessarily like mini granny squares, I mean, kind of, I don't know. The technique is called corner to corner, so you start in like, instead of working from side to side, you start with like one box in the corner and then you work your way like out like that, and then eventually you go back in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um and it's made up and each square is three is like a chain and then three stitches um and then for like each the row you there? like I snort when I laugh it yeah <laughs> My friends like to uh, count my snorts when I laugh, which is great. Love it. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> um, 
Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I snort a lot when I laugh. And apparently, it's hereditary because my mom snorts, and my daughter is only a baby, and still sometimes there's a little, like a, a hint of a snort happening. <laughs> That's smart. That would be fun. He's in the center of the bank. Maybe I should get a snort counter. I'll have to figure out how to do that. Um, but I have a couple. Sorry, I keep like jumping around. I have a couple different cardigan patterns saved, but specifically the first one I want to make is a granny square cardigan using the daisy squares to um, match what I made for my daughter because it seems like fun I don't know if I have any more of this teal but I think I need some more of it um I think you have to be an affiliate to get channel points don't you I'm not quite there yet. I'm almost there. Just I have, I have almost enough followers and viewers. I am not yet. I think soon though I will hit it. Hopefully, which would be fun. But when I do reach that point, you, you I will yeah, use so channel yeah, points. Yeah, yeah, I just have to figure out fun them. things to I redeem them. Oh my gosh, jeez, what on boys? Where's he at? Oh, my music stopped. <laughs> it's because there's an ad about to play. See, sometimes it pauses before the ad and sometimes it just plays the ad <laughs> <laughs> and I don't understand I would like it if it made up its mind but yeah I'm just kind of having fun now for now on twitch Oh no. I think I would cry if someone actually. <laughs> if I did that and somebody oh actually redeemed God, it. That's nuts! Depending on the project, I guess. Like something like this, I would cry. <laughs> so much damage for being just a primary. Like it already was I was watching. Um, a sim, a YouTuber that plays Sims. And she, there's a new Sims, look, kind, kind of new, that Sims pack that allows knitting. And uh, she was not a knitter or crochet or anything. And she, it had an option of like frog project and she thought it was a frog project, like making a person would make a frog. She didn't realize it destroyed it. <laughs> it was kind of funny. Agreed, it should be fun. Fun for all.
<laughs> it's chill. I know what you meant. <laughs> I mean, there's always the standard, like hydrate, stretch. <laughs> Giveaways could be fun. There's something in my eye. My goodness. That could be fun. I know there's one streamer that I follow, Garby. I think she recently just changed her name on here, actually, to Yarn X Riot, potentially. I don't remember exactly what it is. Oh, I've seen the pet treats, too. Um, but she has one that's like crochet a bee. She'll like crochet a bee or something for a certain amount of points or something like that. But I have seen the pet treats as well. I don't have any pets at the moment though. Unfortunately. I grew up, I've always grown up around dogs. But all of my preferred dog breeds are not allowed in my apartment. Because <laughs> they're all big dogs. Ooh, pick a color, that'd be fun. cute I've always wanted to do like um, like I've heard of people that make the I think it's like the octopuses octopi that um, they do donate to hospitals for preemies I've always wanted to do that or like um my manager at my, one of my old jobs mentioned before that she wanted to get people together. One, she wanted me to teach her how to crochet, which I'm always down for. I don't mind teaching people. Um, and she wanted to get together like a little group to make like lap blankets for retirement homes, which I thought would be fun as well. I wonder how they handle donations of things of that sort with the way things are at the moment with the pandemic and everything. I wonder. Even though it didn't go off. 
that could be fun, asking Thanks, anything. Buddy. And I should ask. I should look into it. I want to look into that, and I also want to look into, like, selling things in a market. Completely, like, tangent, but <laughs> I already sell things in my older sister's cafe that she runs. Uh, but I want to do, like, an actual market kind of thing. Oh, dad jokes are so good. I love dad jokes. My favorite thing to do, <laughs> one of my best friends uh, loves me for this. I, he greatly appreciates me and my humor. Um, but <laughs> every time I find a bad joke or like a, an amazing pun or something, I just send it to him. And for a while I had like daily puns that I would send him. He loved it. It was a usually me sending the pun and then the response of stop or Kaylee why. <laughs> but he secretly loved it. And he would send me back some sometimes. It made me day. It made Monday. <laughs> I can talk. Turn into a pirate a little bit, but it's good. <laughs> so but yeah farmer market there is like a um, I don't know how long it goes for I keep forgetting that it's like almost September so it's getting into the fall which I'm so excited about but there's like a harbor market because we live um near a lake and it's this big it's basically like a giant farmer's market like right next to our place i know i should look into that maybe next summer how many highlanders does it take to change a light bulb and then i switched target to the small blocker and one tapped it in the head he says i was like Alright, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, okay, watch blocker's dead. One, and it's dead. 687 damage to the little That's good. That's good. I like that. Oh my goodness. I do appreciate that. Appreciate it. What is the most recent one that I sent to my friend? My stomach just made a weird noise. Some of them are like photo puns. <laughs> or videos. But, um, yeah, there were all the most recent ones are like photo or video puns. Yeah, photo memes. Like one of them is, uh, I don't know if you can see it, if I put it on my... Bless my soul, Herc was on a roll. <laughs> it's a Hercules figurine on a roll. Makes me laugh. Oh my gosh. I'm like debating doing another row we're just calling it a night because I am V tired and it is midnight actually so I might actually just call it a night um yeah I love puns 
I feel like pun liking puns is a is a standard for friendship with me. <laughs> when I found out I was pregnant, the one of the first things I bought was for my husband was a 101 dad jokes book. Thank you. Good night to you as well. Thank you for hanging out with me. I very much appreciate it. Have a great night, guys. Thank you so much. Bye.